Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the Copper Owl, bringing you a review on the Nerf Crossbolt. Yes. So, I'm going to take this off because I saw my reflection for a second. No. I'm not wearing my balaclava on this one. It's actually the first time I'm reviewing something in my little office space that is my walk-in closet. And I could be honest with y'all, I am a bit claustrophobic at the moment. I wonder if I could push this back a little bit. No. So. It's not bad. In all honesty, it's just, um... A little less wiggle room than I thought. Partly because of this demolisher right here at my shoulder. And my crates of attachments. But yeah, other than that, pretty fine. So, let's get on to review on the cross bolt. So... Really, and actually, I need. I will need a mag for this thing. It's this one. Can you see my face in it? I don't think so. Yeah. Well, this thing came with a twelve dart ma uh, mag when it came out, but the crossbow is a is one of those blasters. I I've been finding a lot of them recently. In in my goodwills, like three of them at a time. It's crazy. Maybe sometimes like I, and they seem to be all belong to the same guy, because they all have zip ties right, right here on the um. On the, the, they were smart to put zip ties here, to create a lanyard. Slang attachment points is what I'm thinking of. That's the word I forgot. So yeah, and. As you may see, I've already modded this blaster, and this is one of the most easiest moddable blasters. See what I did with the string right there? How I tied it around the cross bolt? Well, the FPS, because of that, averaged around 51.9, but you can see the 76 and the 73. That's it with me just tying the string around like that. So, FPS can range to good in this, which I suggest if you're going to get this blaster, you do that. Now, every single time I got this, used one of these blasters, I always thought they were broken because I could never slide it back. Turns out you do need a dart in the magazine. And accessories is bad just because it just came with its mag. Sling attachment point, I think it's okay because it's a weird one and it's, again, it's like it's a crossbow. But now that I think about it, wouldn't this be the perfect spot for a crossbow? I, I'm, I'm never familiar with them. So I think maybe this, these two sling attachment points, one right here and one right here, might actually be perfect for it. Because I'm not familiar with crossbows. You know, I've reviewed one of them. Comfort. In all honesty, I thought this blaster was going to be very uncomfortable looking at it. But I'm surprised at how much... It doesn't really bother me at all. I usually hate these thumb, holes, thumb hole stocks. But I actually... I'm pretty fine with it. And the mag release is pretty good too. So I actually I'm perfectly fine. It's a little it's small. It's small to say the least but all that, but it's like can cross do do crossbows really have like again, I'm not familiar with them in person. I'd like I'm more familiar with firearms and all that stuff. I could probably tell you more about like how the how a revolver works and all that, and how like the leaf and how the um, what you call it the leaf spring the leaf springs. Yeah, that's what they're called. Are actually more active of firearm, but are just terrible in plastic. You know that. So it's stuff like that that I'm good at. But this thing nah. Com so comfort. I'm gonna say it's good looks I actually think this thing looks cool the what the way it looks it's pro it has a pretty cool profile to me and I, it kind of re reminds me of something from Gears of War and if I knew how to take this thing apart I probably would paint it in a Gears of War color scheme so I think good for looks profile it's okay because again it has that um, crossbow profile and again I'm not from I don't know I'm not familiar with crossbows so I don't think I don't know if it's gonna like does it look like an actual crossbow 
technical point, that's bad. It's just the under one that you're supposed to put a flashlight on and everything. You're not doing that because you put your hand there. I don't like those ones. There really has to be like a lot of like space in between the thing for that because you're just putting your hand on the rail. Tactical, tactical points is a no. Rockets, no. Mega, no. It has no front barrel attachment. Internals, I have no idea how this thing looks like, but I know you could take out the, the locks and everything and all that. So internals, I would say would be good because... Modability, really good. Just by doing this little string trick, you got 20 more FPS out of it. That is really good. And super easy. It's a super easy thing to mod. Practicality. Here's the pro. Oh, no, I, I know it's shit. Internals. It's like, yeah, no, I gotta take something. With internals, I actually would say they're okay because they do have a flaw. In that. One, you have to have a dart in this by default. You have to have a dart in this thing to prime it backwards. Two, Adventure Force darts, like, one out of, what I think it would be like one out of three times get jammed in this thing. And it doesn't jam to a point where it's like, oh, they you can't pull them out and they're permanently ruined. You could pull them. It's like you step on a dart once, but it's still okay. Regular darts, on the other hand, tend to get jammed less like one out of ten times but will get jammed if you like try to fire this thing rapidly or try to slam fire it which it does seem like it's capable of slam fire oh no there's another thing attachment point yeah yeah that's it's good I, I just didn't know which does seem like it's capable of slam fire it's just not good at it and jams up when I tried it but it tore up the elite dart like crazy it was like a banana peel. I was like, oh my goodness. So yeah, there's like some weird internal flaw in that in this design. So internals is like okay because one again is very moldable. You probably could fix all those things, but two, yeah, if you're not fixing it, be careful with it. Practicality, it's kind of like a retaliator, but better. It's very much um again. Because this this video is reviewing blasters, you're like you're at Goodwill, and you have a choice between this thing and the other thing. It's like one, this thing has a big profile because of the thing, but two, it's like a really good blaster, above average performance. Out the back, if you just do this little trick, maybe even more if you would bother to do it on the other side too, and you have, but it gets jammed very rapidly. But then you got retaliators who perform a little less, but can take all the different attachments and all that. So, in a war with these blasters, it's like, would you really want this? Even has the bullpup design, too. That's also something people got to get used to. Would this actually be practical in a war? And I would say, compared to every other blaster, it's a no. It's not practical at all. You gotta, you gotta do this little trick. Got this big profile, and all that. Can't take attachments like you want it to, and all that. You gotta, you. It's just um, it performs good. It's just an inferior model, in all honesty. It's just again compared to another mag blaster like that is just pump action. Take my um. Alpha Trooper, the Alpha Trooper has the slam fire. You have more rapid fire and all that stuff. So you could take a stock attachment point, which could be the the one that holds extra darts and everything. And this one doesn't have that stuff. So is it practical? No, it's not. Price? Well, I got it for three ninety nine, but I didn't buy it at all because of its price. I bought it because they had an evader. The evader had its mag. And I wasn't going to pay $13 for an evader, so I just switched the mags around. And it's because I wanted the evader's mag. So, for $4, I still say this thing's not worth it. $3, fine. $4, it was okay. Because I got the mag out of it. Results, one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five.
three. So it's either good or bad. It's either a good or bad blaster. And it would be a semi. I wouldn't say if this is even a primary blaster. I would say this is more of like an, a. I don't know. Again, it's like I wouldn't r never. I would never run anything like this. And I think like if you go actually like hold it, holster it like the way I think you can, it could probably work as an extra blaster. But I will say you don't have to skip this one. I say it's a novelty, because it's like again. It's a pretty good performing blaster once you do this little trick with it. Um, and once that's done, you, you got a pretty good performing blaster. And just, even as an extra blaster, it's like, okay, yeah, put a six round dart in that six round mag in there and say, oh, yeah, perfectly fine. There you go. You can, you can pretend you're that guy from The Walking Dead. Is, that, is The Walking Dead still a thing? It's like, I don't even think of Walking Dead when I think about crossbows. I think about that show that had Edge in it and he was like a bullet magnet and I only know that show because my brother watched it but yeah so neat blaster neat novelty I'm surprised how much I ended up enjoying it I was immediately going to throw this in my donation box but I'm thinking but I'm thinking of keeping it okay just because I think that's pretty cool that you could just do get a high performing blaster which is one little trick so thank you all very much for for watching. You all have a nice day. Oh, I forgot to advertise my book. Um, link down below. Buy my book. I left it in my bag. Thank you all very much. You have a nice day. Bye-bye.